It's not a fountain of youth, but a big breakthrough. This container of liquid hydrogen contains great hope for patients suffering from ALS, an incurable condition that causes progressive paralysis and death. Here we store in very special conditions million and million of cells, the stem cells that we are deriving the off-the-shelf cell product for AstroRx for the treatment of ALS and also for diabetes. So all the cells are here in very big banks. So we can use these cells to treat any patients in the world. Kadima Stem, a company located in Nesiona, 20 kilometers south of Tel Aviv, has developed a cellular therapy based on brain-supporting cells, or astrocytes. This syringe contains enough of a dose for one patient, and it has been used to treat 10 patients so far, stopping their condition for three months. It was a world first. It's a race against the clock. In our next clinical trial, okay, we wish to transplant the cells repeatedly, every three, four months, in order to prolong the effect that we saw in our first clinical trial, and by that, making ALS a not a devastating lethal disease, but a chronic disease where we can maintain the function of the survival of these patients for a longer time. Kadima Stem developed a technology that produces functioning cells in great quantities from any pluripotent stem cell. It's a very good question if you're replacing God, uh, God uh, we are trying to mimic God. <laughs> so we are actually manufacturing the astrocytes, the same astrocytes that you and I have, and we actually replace the functionality of uh, the malfunction in astrocytes in order to support the neurons in the brain and the spinal cord. The company is also developing a cell therapy to cure diabetes. So imagine a world, okay, where you don't need to prinkle your fingers or inject insulin anymore. You will have a small device inserted under your skin or in other place in your body, and it actually can sense the glucose levels and secrete the needed amount of insulin. And that's it. It's a cure for diabetes. The model was successfully tested on mice who were cured of diabetes for good. But the treatment for humans will only be available within five to seven years.